Hi, it's Dr. Manette Riordan with North Texas Kids Magazine and the Academy for Parent Coaching International here with another moment in HeartWise Parenting. It is Friday afternoon. Happy, happy Friday. I don't know about you, but I am so glad. It is Friday, even though I have a really busy weekend, as I'm sure so many of us do. I am glad I made it through the week without my husband. He does so much to help around the house with the kids. I am always so grateful and thrilled that he's going to be back after five days of absence. I know the kids are excited to see him as well. And I just totally lost my train of thought. Okay, and so what do I want to talk about today? What is my heartwise parenting moment today? Well, there really wasn't a heartwise parenting moment. There was a major moment of mommy guilt today that I want to share with you guys. So I was scheduled to be the opening keynote speaker at 9 a.m. at Project Mom this morning talking about the power of commitment. The whole theme of the Project Mom conference is all about be even better, be an even better mom. Well, my son's been struggling a little bit with an upset stomach this week, nothing major. Told you about the couple of shots that he had. His arms are all rashy and broken out and, and itchy. And he was complaining about his stomach. I had to drop him off at 7.15 at a friend's house who was going to give him a ride to school a little bit later. So we talked it through. He chewed on a couple of tums. He's 12, remember. He's not itty-bitty. And we talked about it and we said, okay, think he's going to be okay. He's been doing okay all week and he wanted to give it a try. Well, I hadn't been gone more than 10 minutes from my friend's house and they called me back and said, we're taking Connor home. So here I go off to do my thing, my true passion, which I love, which is public speaking. And you can see I'm a major hand talker. I've been trying to be really good and not talk with him all the time. And I had to leave my 12-year-old son homesick alone. He was definitely distressed on the phone. He wasn't throwing up. He didn't have a fever. I knew within an hour or so he'd be feeling better. And in fact, when I talked to him an hour later, he was really sad that he didn't go to school and that he ended up being home for a few hours by himself today. And he was just, did such a good job of taking care of himself. But I went through my day, maybe not having as much fun or being as relaxed as I might have if I'd known that he was at school and safe. And my husband was on the other side of the country. And it was a really hard decision to make in that moment about what the best thing was to do. And he and I just talked it through, and he was uh, clear that he was going to be okay for a little while. And I really struggled at that moment with my need to be a good mom, but also my need to be a good business owner and to follow through on my commitments. And as someone who's planned a lot of events, I knew what a burden it would be to the Project Mom ladies if all of a sudden I called, and, called him at 8 o'clock and said, hey, your opening keynote's not going to be there at 9 o'clock. So it wasn't a best case scenario in, in, in any way, shape, or fashion, and, um, but I also don't think I would have done it any differently. Um, obviously, if he had been uh, sicker and throwing up and diarrhea, and run, even if he was just running a fever, I certainly would not have, have gone. And so, But what is that fine line? What is the point that we make those decisions? And at 12 you know, where's the comfort level? Is he ready to be left at home? I still don't know the answer to that one. It's one that we all struggle with. But certainly that mommy guilt piece was a really a big challenge for me today. And even though he did great, I'm still trying to work my own way through that. Because being a heart-wise parent is all about being present. And uh, I wasn't there for him today physically. I was on the phone with him every hour, checking in on him for a couple of hours until I was able to get back home. What would you have done? Would you have done something differently? Would you have dropped everything for, from your work perspective and dashed home to take care of him? Uh, like I said, I don't know if I would have done it differently, but it didn't make me feel great. There was certainly no win-win situation there. So that was my, my heart-wise parenting challenge today. I wouldn't say it was a heart-wise parenting moment, but it was certainly a big challenge. And I'm so glad that I went to Project Mom. I had so much fun giving my talk on the power of commitment, starting everybody off with lots of laughs and giggles and, and uh, hopefully some motivation to get them through, through the day and to get me through the day as well. And came home, my son was fine. We worked it out. We already went to the library. He came home with not one, not two, but 18 manga books that he's reading. So I think he's going to be okay, and I know that I'm going to be okay too. That's my moment in HeartWise Parenting today. I'm Dr. Minette Riordan, and I'll see you again on Monday. Have a fabulous weekend.